In this lecture, we will calculate fundamental time period and fundamental frequency of these two signals. Let's start with the first signal. Here xt is equal to sine square 4 pi t and we already know cos 2 theta is equal to 1 minus twice of sine square theta or we can write or we can write sine square theta equal to 1 by 2 inside the bracket 1 minus cos 2 theta here theta is equal to 4 pi t theta is equal to 4 pi t therefore we have sine square 4 pi t equal to 1 by 2 inside the bracket 1 minus cos 8 pi t sine square 4 pi t is equal to signal xt the signal whose fundamental period and fundamental frequency we have to calculate xt is equal to 1 by 2 minus cos 8 pi t divided by 2 opening this bracket we have this thing 1 by 2 is dc value and we have already discussed periodicity of dc values 1 by 2 is a dc value and dc value is periodic in nature dc value is periodic in nature but the fundamental period t naught is undefined cos 8 pi t by 2 is definitely periodic and here omega naught the fundamental angular frequency is equal to 8 pi omega naught is equal to 8 pi and as we have omega naught we can easily calculate the fundamental period t naught it is equal to 2 pi divided by omega naught 2 pi divided by 8 pi will give us 1 by 4 seconds 1 by 4 seconds or we can write 0 0.25 seconds this is the value of fundamental period of cos 8 pi t by 2 1 by 2 is a periodic signal with undefined fundamental period so the fundamental period of signal xt is also equal to 0 0.25 seconds so this is the answer we also have to calculate the fundamental frequency f naught it is equal to 1 by t naught t naught is 0 0.25 so we have 1 by 0 0.25 which is equal to 4 hertz now we will move to the second problem in this problem signal xt is equal to sine 6 pi t plus cos 5 pi t sine 6 pi t is the first signal and let's say it is x1 t cos 5 pi t is the second signal and let's say it is x2 t therefore signal xt is a composite signal and we have to follow the four steps to find out period and frequency of composite signal let's start with step number one in step number one we will calculate the fundamental period of sin 6 pi t and fundamental period of cos 6 pi t x1 t is equal to sin 6 pi t and from here we can see omega 1 is equal to 6 pi omega 1 is equal to 6 pi therefore t1 the fundamental period of signal x1 t is equal to 2 pi divided by 6 pi this will give us 1 by 3 signal x2 t is equal to cos 5 pi t omega 2 is equal to 5 pi omega 2 is equal to 5 pi therefore therefore fundamental period is equal to 2 by 5 so we are done with step number one now we will move to step number two in which we will find out the ratio t1 by t2 1 by 3 divided by 2 by 5 and it is equal to 5 by 6 now we will move to step number 3 in step number 3 we will analyze this ratio 5 by 6 whether it is irrational or rational when you divide 5 by 6 you will have 0 0.8333 and so on so you can see we have repeating decimals therefore 5 by 6 is a rational number is a rational number and as the ratio is rational composite signal xt is periodic now we can easily calculate the fundamental period because xt is periodic 
fundamental period fundamental period t naught is equal to lcm the least common multiple of t1 and t2 t1 is equal to 1 by 3 t2 is equal to 2 by 5 so we have to calculate the lcm of 1 by 3 and 2 by 5 we are having the lcm of fractions and i have already explained you the lcm of fraction is equal to lcm of numerators divided by the hcf of denominators so we need to calculate the lcm of numerators 1 2 divided by the hcf of denominators 3 5 lcm of 1 2 is equal to 2 and hcf of 3 5 is equal to 1 therefore fundamental time period t naught is equal to 2 seconds this is the answer and the fundamental frequency f naught is equal to 1 by 2 or 0 0.5 hertz so this is all for this lecture if you have any doubt you may ask in the comment section in the next lecture we will discuss conjugate symmetric and conjugate anti-symmetric signals